Ms. Duncan, Edmonton Strathcona, seconded by Mr. Bevington, moves for leave to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Navigable Waters Protection Act, the Slave River. This motion is deemed adopted. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased uh, to table my bill, An Act to Amend the Navigable Waters Protection Act, Slave River, and I wish to thank uh, my colleague, the Member for Western Arctic, for seconding this bill of great significance to his constituents. The the purpose is both simple and necessary, Mr. Speaker. It will add the mighty Slave River flowing from Alberta to the Northwest Territories to the substantially diminished list of rivers this government has deemed worthy of protection. According to David Livingston, former director of Indian Northern Affairs Water Division, life in the North has always revolved around water in an intimate way that many other jurisdictions have lost. The value of water in the North is the same as the value of water to people who live in the deserts, central to life. This bill actually amends the 2012 Budget Implementation Act. Why? This government, absent any advanced consultations, including with those directly impacted, used its budget bill to further eviscerate this century and a half year old protection law. The Navigable Waters Protection Act, originally enacted to guarantee navigation rights, has been upheld by the Supreme Court of Canada as an important trigger for federal action to protect rivers and lakes. The law pre evisceration served as a key trigger for federal assessment of permitting. The decision to remove protective measures for the slave was made absent any consultations with the Aboriginal peoples who have a long-standing connection to the river. In so doing, the government violated its overriding constitutional duty of prior consultation with an accommodation of Aboriginal rights and title. According to Cheyenne Paulette, the former chief of Smith's Landing, First Nation, located on the banks of the slave, in quotes, the slave river has sustained our people since time immemorial. We have a vision for the river that ensures it will continue to be a home for our people for all time, and we know many other northerners share our vision. The river has for centuries provided the major transportation route between Fort Fitzgerald in the Northwest Territories and Fort Chippewyan. According to Elder Francois Paulette, who was raised on the river, the slave is considered sacred and is to be respected. Madam Duncan, Edmonton, Trascona. Ms. Duncan, the seconded by Mr. Bevington, moves that this bill it be now read a first time and printed. That update. First reading. Motion is deemed to be done. When shall the bill be read a second time? The next in the House.